Hi, this is Steve Bonneman. I'm here to walk you through using the scorer for uh, Online Quiz League USA. This is located at quizcentral.net slash scorer.php. That link will be posted kind of everywhere along with this video, so don't worry. Basically, this scorer kind of goes through a game with you, and it's fairly simple, but I wanted to make sure that everyone understood exactly what to do. So this opening screen, you will need to click on Quiz Details, and you'll need to choose some things. In this case, you'll almost always be choosing Online Quiz League USA. For Reader, you can actually put your name in. Um, and if your name isn't there, you can add it. If you're a guest reader or something like that, you're welcome to do so. For Scorer, you would also put yourself. Although, in some cases, the Reader and Scorer can be different as well. That's fine. The Scorer is whoever is using this app. For the competition, you want to say either League Cup or Friendly. League is basically any regular match week match. A Friendly would just be something that you play separately. I'm going to choose Friendly so that nobody thinks this is a League match, my example here. For Venue, the options are really just Zoom and Other. And then at that point, you will click Done. Once the quiz details are in, I'm able to put in the home team and the away team. Do need to check which one's the home team and the away team. Last night, my home team was Very Stable Geniuses, which I can type in. And you'll see what it lets me do is it actually gives me a list of the people on the team. And if there's somebody who hasn't been listed here, you can add them as well. Um, we're going to put them in in the order they say they want to be seated. So you click on one, then two, then three, then four. Last night, I believe it was Nisha, and then Krishna, and then Kaushik and then Balaji. At that point you can change these, you can remove people, but you'll probably just want to go back to the beginning and put them back in in complete um, order. Nisha, Krishna, Kaushik, Balaji. And then you choose who the captain is. In this case it was Krishna. I'm going to click Done. And then I can do the same thing for the away team, which last night was Plush Toy the Apocalypse. I can type in plush or I can choose it. I believe their order was Legic, then Burn, Paul, and Josh with Legic as the captain. And again, just choose that captain and light up that little shield, and then you can click Done. Then start the quiz. At this point, I'm going to need to choose who goes first in round one. The team that goes first in round one can be chosen randomly, or you can do a coin flip, or you can do something like that. That's you know, yours to do outside of this app. At that point, I will click the team that goes first. Um, last night it was... Well, I don't remember who it was, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to click Plush Toy of the Apocalypse as the team that's going first in round one, and I'll click Start. And this is the meat of the system here. I'm going to move myself a little bit. You can see we have a clock. We have the statement that it's round one, question 1a, we have who that question is going to and which team. You can also see these circles here on the left and right. Those are kind of the most important buttons in the system. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is, so at this point a question is asked um, using the question sheet, the quiz sheet that's online. Um, if Legic gets it right, then you simply click his two and that will become green. You also see that it updates the score up here. I have now recorded an answer for that question, so we're done with that. We can move on to the next question. To move on, I press the gray circle on the right. You can see right away that that changes it to round one question 1b, which is directed to Nisha Palai. Now let's say that I made a mistake. I can actually go back. The, the gray circle on the left lets me go back to question 1a, which I can click undo and then change to someone else. Let's say, oh no, he didn't get it right. He passed and his teammate got it. There's no button for pass. You just click to say who got the one. And in this case, we'll say it was Josh Height. So that will change. You can see the score up top changes and changes it to 0, 1 instead of 0, 2. I go back and I'm on question 1b again. You can continually back up. Okay, let's say Nisha gets her question. I move on to the next question. You can see that it's question 2a and it tells me to direct it to burn. So this is very easy to keep up with. 
Um, let's say that Burn misses and it goes over to the other team where Balaji gets the bonus. I can just click on Balaji and that will change that to a green. You can see it gives the point to very stable geniuses and I click forward. Again, that gray circle on the right and I'm on question 2B. I go through this for the entire match. Um, these are recording individual scores. These are also recording round scores. Um, that information is not currently displayed in this interface, but it will be soon. But you can trust as long as the score ups up top is keeping up with what you uh, agree is happening, that everything is fine. Um, otherwise, there's really not much to this. Uh, the, the one other thing I will say is that clicking the X will state that nobody got the question right. So let's say nobody gets this question to be right. That we can X that out, see no points are awarded, and simply move on. I can undo that X as well. So that's really all there is to this. You want to record just who got the point and how many on each question. Um, and that's really all there is to using this scoring app. At the very end, oh, by the way, during round five, it will switch which team goes first. It will do that automatically. You don't have to do that yourself. And at the end of round eight, after you get through round eight, round eight, question 4B, it will prompt you to submit the score. Um, and then you submit, and that causes the league to go. Two things. Never push reload. It will start over. But if you do, uh, you'll have to go ahead and reconstruct the match. That's not actually as hard as, as, as you imagine. You just go through each question and go, did you get that right? No, that got passed to whom? And usually with all the players there, they will know. But please avoid pressing the reload button because you will have to do some irritating record keeping if you do. That's how to use the scoring system. There's really not nothing more to it than that, but remember these gray circles on the left and right are what move you forward and back through the round. So thank you very much, and thanks for being in the league.